Okay, last, two more problems in the blue packet to make sure that you are, actually no, maybe about four more problems. I already started this one here. They give you the exterior angle, which we know equals two interior put together. So if I do 130 and subtract 113, I'll get this guy up here for that missing angle. Next one is number 50. I have an exterior angle here. It equals these two angles put together or summed together. And then I would like you to solve that. I'm just starting that one for you, number 50. Same thing here, 56. I see an exterior angle and it equals two interior put together. So if I put 3x and 6x plus 6, I put them together for the 74 and I solve. Big thing is for this one, I don't just want x, I want the measure of QVU. So once you solve for x, plug it back in to tell me what the measure of that one is. Last group deal with isosceles triangles. Oh, isosceles, oh, isosceles, you have base angles of equal measure. 180 degrees in a triangle, if you have two legs equal, you have two base angles that have to be equal. So let's look at 64. I'm looking at 64. I see that I have an isosceles triangle here. I'm gonna turn it. This is my vertex angle at the top. So if I have 180 minus 40, that gives me 140 degrees left to split between these two equally because they need to be equal. So divide that by two, these are both 70. Then vertical angles are equal and you might go, I don't need to know that. Well, you have to work your way over. This is 70. Now I see another isosceles triangle here. I like to think of it as the Christmas tree. If this one's 70, this one would be 70 because base angles are equal. And that concludes the blue packet.